So I met Wild Bill's gravesite and Calamity Jane, who's right next to me. And I keep getting uh, whiffs of cigarette smoke. And there's nobody else here but um, Mr. Martini and I, and we don't smoke, so it's a little bizarre. It's coming in from somewhere, and I don't know where. So what a lot of people don't realize when they watch the series Deadwood on HBO is there really is a town called Deadwood and it's a very famous town. And I'm here now in the Mount Moriah Cemetery where a lot of those legendary figures that were in the show are buried. Right behind me is Zeth Bullock. You'll remember him. He is one of the main characters and was sheriff and pioneered this town. Below me is Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane, along with other characters from the movie, such as Saul Starr and the Reverend Smith. 1876, Wild Bill Hickok came to Deadwood, South Dakota. And yes, there really is a Deadwood, South Dakota. Shortly after his arrival, he was shot in the back by Jack McCall. But the thing is, is that Wild Bill he never left Deadwood, South Dakota, and he's right behind me here at Mount Moriah Cemetery, just above Deadwood, South Dakota. And next to him is Calamity Jane. Next to the Fairmont on the corner of Main and Wall Street is the real location where they think Wild Bill was killed. Um, it is in dispute where he was really killed, but as far as Deadwood's concerned with their markers, um, it's here at the Wild Bill Bar right next to the Fairmont. Several people had thrown coins in and around or put rocks around his monument. And what that means is to honor the dead, to let them know that you came to pay your respects. Wild Bill was exhumed from the Inglewood Cemetery right below here and moved to this cemetery. It is said that when they dug up Wild Bill's body, that it was petrified and that you could hit it with a stick and it would sound by a log. Who knows if that is true. So I'm coming into the parking lot of the Mount Moriah Cemetery and just below us, right in this area right here, is where the Inglewood Cemetery used to be. All the bodies were exhumed and brought up the hill to the Mount Moriah. And you can see it overlooks uh, Deadwood. Right next to Wild Bill is also Potato Creek Johnny. Potato Creek Johnny discovered the largest gold nugget here in Deadwood. And he has the honor of being buried next to Wild Bill Hickok. Now, it's a myth that the two were lovers. They were more acquaintances than they were lovers. But Clemmie Jane had a lot of respect for Wild Bill, and when she died, um, she, her dying request was that she wanted to be buried beside Wild Bill. Now, Clemmie Jane died um, very close to here, um, just south of here, um, and she didn't. After she spent time here in Deadwood. She did leave the area and ended up coming back um, after the turn of the century um, and ended up dying up the road from here. This is Calamity Jane's grave right here. We've come to pay our respects. Um, so their grave sites have actually been vandalized many times. They've had different sculptures over the years. Um, he was originally buried with a wood tombstone um, when he was buried down in the um, Inglewood Cemetery, which is down, was just below here, but there's homes there now. But over the years, it, everything was vandalized. And uh, so they finally went with a bronze 
monument. Um, so it would last the test of time. So Seth's um, Bullock's family plot is on a very steep incline at the top of the cemetery. There's a plot um, for the family up on top here. And once you get to the top of the cemetery, it's about 0.15 miles up this road. <laughs> so really, Zeth Bullock, you got buried way up here. <laughs> this is a, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a steep climb. It's just it's a little cold because we have a snowstorm coming in. Um, again, it's about 0.15 miles up. Um, you could get a wheelchair up here, um, but it is broken up asphalt. Um, and as you can see behind me, or to the side of me, there's this beautiful view of Deadwood from up here. Um, so it's always an adventure with Colorado Martini in it. So all these rocks that you see are what people have put on his grave to show their respect. He was a well-respected sheriff of this town and pioneer. And I just, I can't seem to find him. So I'm not really sure if he's here or not, um, or if his grave is unmarked. But because he was such a prominent citizen, of this town um, you would think that they would have a sign <laughs> Chipmunk scared the crap out of me <laughs> you see him sitting he's like right, right there <laughs> he just scared the crap out of me <sighs> I am in a graveyard people my heart's still pounding for that stupid chick luck. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> So I found out where Solomon Starr is buried. He's not here. <laughs> He's in St. Louis, and that's why we can't find him. So on the internet, there's a lot of conflicting information. Um, he did die here in, in Deadwood, uh, but his body is in a mausoleum in St. Louis. So there you go. So now we're gonna look for Margaret Broadwater. Um, Margaret killed herself. She jumped out of the Fairmont Hotel um, and she landed in so much mud because Deadwood always had a ton of mud um, in the streets. It was like a foot thick that it broke her fall. Um, but she did die a couple days later um, from internal injuries. Very sad. Um, she was distraught um, and I want to show my respect to her by visiting her grave and, and saying a little prayer. So I can't find Maggie's grave and I'm kind of disappointed. Um, Findagrave.com doesn't say where she is um, and I'm really sad because I want to pay my respects. So right above me is an area where they buried the children um, that were inflicted with smallpox and also scarlet fever. There was a very large smallpox outbreak here in Deadwood and it is said that Calamity Jane helped with those children and the people that were inflicted and it is known as one of her biggest acts of kindness was taking care of people and especially during the, out, um, the smallpox outbreak. So there was a very large fire in Deadwood and I am standing in a mass grave where many of those people were buried during that fire. The actual original Deadwood completely burned to the ground in this fire. So most of the buildings that stand there today are not the original Deadwood buildings that were here during the gold mining era. We're on our way to Preacher Smith's grave site and He's got a nice visitor that we don't want to disturb right next to his headstone. 
So that was Mount Moriah Cemetery. That was pretty awesome. I, I was very impressed with uh, Bill Hickok's grave and Calamity Jane. Um, but that hike <laughs> up to Zeph's Bullock's grave, that was pretty cool. <laughs> and we have a snowstorm coming in. There's always a snowstorm coming in when we're out and about. So, so we're cold and we're going into an indoor museum. Mm-hmm. <laughs>